homecoming festivities started on Tuesday, October 15th with hallway decorations going up around the school. Throughout the week, warriors celebrated school spirit in a multitude of fashions. From the homecoming parade and pep rally on Wednesday, October 16th, to the homecoming football game on Friday, October 18th, and finally the homecoming dance on Saturday, October 19th, the warriors made sure to have a blast while showing their school spirit. The homecoming parade featured floats of Westwood organizations, clubs, and sports. Elementary schools that feed into Westwood also arrived on floats during the parade. As our float left, I saw the Caraway float, and that was my elementary school. So it was like, and then seeing all those little children in their outfits, like, it's all just so heartwarming and like just really cute. There were also floats for homecoming court. The floats drove around the parameters of the area along Lake Creek Parkway while tossing candy to onlookers. Hundreds turned out to support Westwood Warriors at the parade, with the sidewalk packed at its final destination at Harper Park. After the parade, students gathered in the football field, where they were able to celebrate the success of Warrior Athletics. Sports including girls' water polo, recent district champions, were recognized. Students were also able to enjoy performances from the Chinese yo-yo clubs, Sam Yarbrough and Ramsey Matus, as well as the K-pop club's performance of Supernova by Aespa. The performances were followed by introductions to homecoming nobility as they walked down the field escorted by friends and family. The floats and pep rally fostered a sense of community amongst the students as they showcased the intense work they had put into the clubs and organizations they were a part of. Student Council played a key role in organizing the parade and pep rally. How does that community, sense of community make you feel? I really like it. I think homecoming is one of the best times to be able to feel that sense of community. Um, I think that it's something that I really look forward to every year and I think it's a really gratifying experience. The parade float winners were also announced at the pep rally. In first place was Cheer with their Candyland float. In second place was Women's Soccer and in third place was softball. On Friday, Warrior football played Round Rock at the Kelly Reeves Stadium. The Warriors fought a valiant fight, but ended up losing 37 to seven. Regardless of the result, the game turned out countless Warriors and their families who packed the stands to cheer on the Warriors in their special moment. At halftime, the Sundancers and Warrior Pride performed while band played music. Following their performance, the Homecoming Royalty were announced. This year's Homecoming Royalty were Josiah Kent and Kylie Denton. As the game progressed, cheer and band continued to hype up the crowd. Um, On Saturday, Warriors ended off the homecoming week on a high note with the homecoming dance. Many people spent time preparing for the dance with their friends. So what did you guys do to get ready for Hoko? Um, just a lot of music. Um, I met up with like two people beforehand and we got ready together. So yeah, that was good. At homecoming, Warriors were invited to play games like blackjack, poker, and a dice game called craps. Group gambling games help students bond and contributed to the excitement of the dance. So how does this experience compare to your last HOKO? Um, I, think it's, I think it was better this year. I feel like more people turned up, so it feels more energetic. All in all, this year's homecoming week managed to provide a source of fun and school spirit for everybody involved. The camaraderie and unity felt during homecoming week is unmatched by any other activity at Westwood.